Brian Albright here, Moss Creek Golf Club. Today I want to talk about some options that you have around the greens. A lot of times here at the club, I hear all the time from people, Brian, I'm struggling with my wedges around the greens. We got the grass isn't growing and got these tight lies. Greens are always elevated. I always feel like I have to play a lofted shot into all the greens around here. So yes, our greens are elevated, but that's not the only option you have. If you're struggling with your wedges, like we got here at this shot, a little, little fairway run up to the hole, a little bit of elevation. A lot of times people think, well, I have to get the ball in the air, get it on the green, and let it roll out to the hole. That's not the case, especially if we're struggling with the wedges. This is a rather you know, tough shot for most of us. So let's look at some other options that we can have. So what I like to do is I like to get rid of this wedge. Go for your hybrid. Let's simplify things here. My theory is around the greens, if you have the opportunity to putt it, putt it. If not, let's look at your options. One of our options is yes, we can hit that high lofted shot, but that brings in a lot of different outcomes. You know, we can hit the ball fat, we can hit the ball thin and skull it across the green. Let's try to simplify things here and use our hybrid. Great thing about the hybrid is that it has a little bit more, it has a lot more loft actually than our putter. So it's gonna help us get through all that grass before we get to the green. All we're gonna do for a hybrid is we're gonna basically do our putting stroke. We're gonna set up a little bit different, but how we're gonna do that, we're gonna set up with our feet relatively close together like we're hitting a basic chip shot. Now instead of gripping up on, on the grip of the club, we're actually gonna choke all the way up onto the shaft of our hybrid. We actually wanna make this like an extension of our putter. So by gripping down onto the shaft, it's almost like I have my putter in my hand. Now from here, we're gonna stand a little bit closer to the golf ball. This gets us a little bit more upright and it actually gets the toe of the club on the ground. So from here, all we're gonna do is take our normal, normal putting grip, a little closer to the ball, and just make our little putting stroke and get this close to the hole. Left that one a little bit short, didn't catch it the best, but nonetheless, thrive the hole, I have a chance to save par. Use this tip next time you're around, let me know how it is. If you're looking for more tips like this, sign up, sign up with me today. I have my lesson book posted on 14s. Take care.